So you wanna get yourself a general contractor license here in California. Today, we're gonna to be going over exactly how to qualify, all the steps that you need to go through to get yourself a general contractor license. But before we get into that, I'm gonna be going over the differences from the general B and the B2 because the biggest misunderstanding is people think they wanna get a general B contractor license, but really, they're just gonna to wanna to get the general B2. So in this video, we're gonna be going over the differences and then how to qualify and make sure you can get yourself a general contractor license here in California. As I said earlier, we're gonna be going over the differences from a general B and a B2 residential remodeling license. To start off, let's go with the general B. The general B is a structural building trade. So this means you can basically build this entire building. I mean, now you can build the whole thing as a general contractor. What kind of trades are involved in that? Well, you can do HVAC, concrete, electrical, framing, plumbing. Imagine every trade that goes into building this whole structure, that's what you can perform as a general B. But with the general B, you need to perform at least two trades at a time. So you can do concrete and framing for an example. But remember, when taking this exam, you're gonna get questions about all this different stuff. So I hope you know what you're talking about and I hope you know some of the different uh, elements that go into you know, testing for these different trades. Now, for a general B2, this is a residential remodeling license. So if you're doing real estate flipping or handyman kind of work, this is the license you're looking for. This is gonna be painting, drywall, uh, flooring and finished carpentry as a couple examples of trades that you can do. Now the caveat with a B2 is you need to perform at least three trades every time you submit a bid. So this means you need to do painting, drywall, and maybe flooring, right? It, it doesn't have to be those exact three, but at least performing three trades when you're doing a general B2 residential remodeling um, bid. So let's get into the qualifications for the General B and the B2. Starting off with the General B, all licenses, any license trying to get in California, you need at least four years experience in the trade. You need an ITIN or a social security number and you need to be at least 22 years old. The state of California says you can be 18, but your four years of experience start at age 18. So four years later, four years experience, 22 years old is the minimum age that you can be to get a general B contractor license or any contractor license in California. The last one is you're going to need another licensed general B contractor or general B construction company to sign off on your work experience form stating, Hey, I know Brandon, he's done the work before. He knows exactly what he's doing in the general B trade. He's either worked under my company, worked under me as a general contractor, or we are business associates and we've worked together in the general uh, construction trade. You do need a signature from somebody to sign off for you stating that you know exactly what you're doing. As for the B2, same qualifications, four years experience in the trade, an ITIN or a social security number, and at least 22 years old. Now, with the signature with a B2, this can be a business associate. This does not have to be a licensed contractor. Does it help? For sure, absolutely. But it does not have to be a licensed contractor that signs off for you in the work experience form. The general B does have to be a licensed general B contractor that needs to sign off for you. Can a licensed general B contractor sign off for a B2? Absolutely, that obviously it's, it's awesome, but it's not required. So we've talked about the differences of the general B and the B2. We've talked about how to qualify for the general B and the general B2. Now is the three steps you need to go through to actually get the license in hand. Step number one is get enrolled. Get enrolled into a program and start learning what you have to learn to pass the exams. All of our classes are all online, which is awesome. You can literally go home and go through it, but get enrolled in a program. There's two exams that you need to pass to get the contractor license. First exam is the law exam. The laws, the rules, the regulations, everything you need to know to actually run the company legally here in California. The, tech, the second exam is gonna be the trade exam. This is gonna be whichever trade you apply for, it's gonna be all the different trades, specific trade questions, different stuff like that, uh, regulations, laws, everything like that for the trade. So there's two exams you need to pass. So get in a program and start studying so you can pass these exams. The second step is going to be register yourself a business. Now, if you don't have a business registered yet, don't jump the gun, don't worry. In our classes, you're gonna learn about it. 
the, the sole ownership, the corporation, everything you need to know about registering the business. But regardless, before we submit the application to the state, we have to register a business because the state doesn't give me and you as an individual the license. They give the entity that we create, that is who holds the license. We're just, you know, the overseer of that. The third step of getting the contractor license is submitting the application to the state. With this, you're going to pay a $450 application fee to the CSLB. It takes about six to eight weeks for the state to process and go through the entire application. After they process it, you're going to get a fingerprint packet in the mail. This is where you do the background check or fingerprints. You can go to the police department, go to a postal annex or Google literally fingerprints near me. Go get your fingerprints done. They'll automatically send the results to the CSLB so that the DOJ and all the different departments can go through your background check, make sure you're all good. The last one is going to be your work experience form. So with the application, when we send it out with your $450 check or money order and your application, you're gonna submit the work experience form. This is that form that either that licensed contractor or the business associate is going to sign for you um, to get the form Give me a call. I always give it to all of my students. As soon as you enroll, I give you the forms and everything you need to have to uh, get signed and get the process going. But you do need to submit that work experience form with the check or money order. After about six to eight weeks, um, you should get issued uh, the ability to take your exams. You get an email um, from a company called PSI. So this is like a third party company that the state uses to do exams. There's, there's exam centers all over. Um, my students from down here in Temecula, they either go to Riverside or they go down to San Diego. There's, they're all over the, the state. So there'll be a, an exam center you know, near you. You take your exams, you go in, you take them. You can either take them both the same day or you can schedule. I want my law exam uh, today and then my trade exam in a month if you want. Um, but the state gives you 18 months to pass both exams. After they have went through your application, they give you 18 months to pass it. So you have plenty of time to keep studying and keep going through the program to uh, make sure that you can pass the exams. If you guys are ready to rock and roll, you're ready to get your contractor license, ready to get enrolled with you know an online program, or you just have more questions, you, you want some different things answered, give me a call, 951-404-0005. My name is Brandon, and I can help you out.